Um. <laughs> She's in the field for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I am Rain, and I am a dominatrix, fetish, cuddler person. My name is Arya Faye, and I do pornography. Do you consider yourself a sex worker? Well, with me, it's pretty part-time, you know, it's just a side job on the internet. What is fun Well, you know, people watch you on the internet, and you, they can have you do whatever it is you're willing to do that they're willing to pay you to do. I mean, a lot of people want to look at your armpits. Why the fuck I'd would you do that? I wasn't really surprised nobody, I wouldn't guess me uh, if I was doing the guessing, you know? Only one person guessed, right? I don't know, the way you really thought I fit the, the peg, I guess. Did anyone say anything to you today that you didn't like? No. Yeah. Sinking leather would have hinted me. Why the fuck would I wear leather? I don't know, they are, they're always wearing it's shiny hot. leather. I'm not easily offended, I'm six foot one from Chicago. What the fuck y'all gonna say to me, it's gonna make me upset. <laughs> My guy's a gigolo, you know what I'm saying? He's out here slinging that surfer pipe, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know, final decision. I guess I was surprised that some people did uh, peg me as a sex worker, that I would be the one out of the group. You know, you can't tell anything by looking at people. I mean, anybody could be up to anything when you're not sitting right in front of them, which I suppose is the point of the whole exercise, really. I don't know. I don't think she's a sex worker. You might have been in your past because you're really pretty and you got the nice facial features, but I don't think you are now. No. Why don't you think I'm a sex worker? <sighs> she seems too nice. When did you get into that industry? Uh, my 50th birthday. I had been 26 years in an industry that I had a lot of harassment from that was male dominated and I was tired of it. I just thought I'd give it a try. We started out doing nude photography and nude modeling. Gradually got into porn. It came about because I had a very powerful spiritual experience. Like I come from a a very shy, insecure background, and spiritual experience told me that I needed to throw myself in the fire and deal with my social anxiety. First, I started out stripping, and then I started go-go dancing. My ex-girlfriend got into it, and then I moved to Los Angeles with her, and her agent saw me and said that I was cute. And then she uh, signed me to her agency and started getting me jobs. What made you continue with it? Because I'd never been treated better, never been appreciated more. My advanced age, I'm getting to the point in my life where I want to do things that are more important than just money making. Do you just do it for the money? Yeah, primarily. People do kind of come to depend on you, you know, you get a bunch of regular people who show up. It's kind of nice they keep coming back and seem to be, enjoy hanging out with you. Just like censoring the nipples. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that kind of looks like a porn body. When did you tell your Um, I didn't tell my family for a while. The people I tell are the people who would respond, you know, the way you would hope. I mean, I didn't tell my mom, for example. When I told my parents, I had been in for about like a month, and I told them, and disappointment probably wouldn't have even summed up their feelings, honestly. I've had two family members try to undermine me and throw me under the bus or turn me in to the police when in fact the law is just ridiculous. What two people do in consensual, in the privacy of their own home is really not the government's business. There's a lot of guys that weren't able to get their needs fulfilled. I was like, I can punch you in the face for the dollars. Fuck you, man. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love her, yo. Like, I fucking love her. I think there are some people that are just exploring their like desires and they're just exploring them through whatever feels good. And like, I think it just feels good. Like when you like feet that much, you get and slap them. Must be some type of, you know, arousing thing. Americans are sexually retarded. The only industrialized country that doesn't have a, um, a set way that they teach children and, and young adults about sex. I know I didn't know much about it. I had to figure thing, everything out for myself. I didn't even really realize there was a difference between how men have sex and how women have sex. I didn't know there was a female experience until I started reading when I started getting this job. What is the highest sum that you've ever gotten for? I think 50 bucks all at once. 50 bucks for what? I think the guy wanted to watch me jerk off. 
It's always guys. Has this experience made you reevaluate your own sex life or your own tastes? No, not really. No, yeah. not not that I could. Yeah. Not that I could think of. Does porn paint a realistic image of sex? Porn does not create a realistic image of sex. It's very much that hyper sexual fantasy. Oh yeah, I'd tell them, okay, you go try that, right now. If that's the easiest job in the world, why aren't you doing it? Yes, it's very hard work. It's hard because you have to be a small business owner, you have to be self-employed, balancing the energy exchange that comes with people. A lot of people are very needy and they drain you. You're dealing with a lot, like it's not like, you're not like being praised for what you're doing all the time. Like people shit on you because of what you're doing and you're like, well, I love what I'm doing. You know? Is there anything you don't like about the industry? Or you Fuck yeah, there is. There's a lot of shaming in it. And even in like relationships, I've been shamed for being in like a relationship with someone like while I'm doing porn and I'm like, well, that's that's your that's your choice to each his own. What kind of stuff do you do? I do straight porn. Straight. Just Me and a girl. Yeah. Me and multiple girls. Yeah. We should like get coffee some. I would love to ask you like a million more questions. Like I really would. What I like most about my job is it being a catalyst for self-improvement, giving me a flexibility with my time so that I can focus on my artwork and uh, things that I love to, to do. What do you like most about it? Well, you know, you can just pick it up for a couple minutes here and there whenever you have time and check in and see how it goes and you know some days it's kind of busy and some days it's not i mean i personally like i enjoy watching people have sex but i also enjoy people watching me have sex so it's like why not make profit off of it i think this is a healing art and it's in its highest form people come and they get healed a lot of people in my profession uh clients that are healing from some type of traumatic event whether it be like sexual trauma or physical trauma or just emotional trauma. The BDSM kind of helps them explore that in a way that is in their control, and that's pretty cool. Would you consider yourself a therapist in a way? Yeah, I guess. I definitely feel like porn helps people. I definitely feel like sex work helps people. I feel like it's a natural part of society, and we have a very media-based society, so it makes sense that it would come, sex work would come in the form of uh, video and uh, streaming. Yeah, I mean, you feel like you're doing some good for people. You, yeah, you make a couple bucks at it, and yeah, maybe that does some good somehow.